Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor and today I'm going to be doing the gentleman's book tag. This tag was created by Ben from Ben Sanders and I was tagged by Erica from the Perks of Books. So I'll leave both of their videos down below. You can check those out if you want to. This tag has six prompts, so let's just get started. Action one. What book or series really opened the door to a new genre for you? Ever this one, I chose Old Man's War by John Scalzi. I just realized that I was never a big science fiction reader until I read this book. I, I still am not a huge science fiction reader, but I've definitely become way more interested in science fiction because I've read this series. It's about a guy named John Perry who enlists in the Colonial Defense Forces when he is 75 is when he gets taken and no one really knows what the Colonial Defense Forces do to these old people that get taken but their job is to fight aliens and protect the earth from aliens. All the characters are super funny. It's definitely an adult science fiction series because there are some sexy times in here but it definitely definitely opened the door up to a lot of science fiction books that I wouldn't have picked up before I read this. Action two, what book has a serious I need to sit down moment? For this one, I'm gonna go with The Last Lecture by Randy Pausch. While reading it, I had to take breaks because I was getting so upset. It is such a small little book, but it packs such a punch. It's basically this uh, this teacher, Randy Pausch, he's a professor, and he was dying from cancer, and so this was his kind of last words to his children and to tell the people that he needed to tell how he felt about them and kind of give some advice to his children and and those kinds of things it, it was so upsetting it was so upsetting i loved it i gave it five stars i definitely recommend it i got this as a present for when i graduated from high school and it's kind of like uh, follow your dreams kind of thing and, and to really work to make those dreams happen So definitely recommend it for people around that age kind of transitioning between high school and college or high school and uh, real life So yeah, <laughs> love that one action three is the polite conversation What book or series can you talk about non-stop? For this one, just purely based off how much is in it, I'm gonna say the Stormlight Archive series and The Way of Kings is the first book in that series by Brandon Sanderson. These books are like three separate books all put into one. That's why they're so large. They're definitely three separate sections and each book follows a different main character. They follow a couple of different characters, but each book is focused on a specific one. So this one is kind of focused on a guy named Kaladin and he is a slave and he's trying to kind of escape being a slave and stuff like that. There's so much to talk about. There are so many different facets of this book. There's so many different characters and so many different cultures. It's so rich and he invented all these different types of plants and animals and you get to see them. There's drawings and illustrations. It's just so well thought out. It is such an amazing fantasy book. I definitely recommend this one. And yeah, there's just so much to talk about just because of its size as well as how much he's packed into it. So yep, that's going to be the one for that. Action four is the proper compliment. Pick a spin-off series that you view as the proper compliment to the original series. For this one, I picked the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. This is a spin-off slash continuation of the original Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. This one spreads the, the focus into a bunch of different characters, and so you get female perspectives, you get male perspectives, you get a lot of perspectives from different cultures because all of the characters are different ethnicities. Just kind of made this world a little bit bigger and you definitely get to figure out what is happening with the characters from the first series. So I just think that it is a perfect companion slash continuation of the original series. Action five is pay the bill. For this one, I picked Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I just think it has a little bit of everything. It has some romance, some well done romance because romance is hard to do for me in books. It's got action, it's got those fantasy elements, it's got humorous moments as well, it's got some politics, a little bit, but <laughs> there it is there. And it has some pirates, it's just got a little bit of everything and I really, really loved this book. I ended up giving it five stars. This is the first book I gave five stars to this whole year and I think that was in March, so yeah, definitely love this one, read it. And action five, part two is split the bill. Pick a canon couple from any book or series that you believe to have a proper respect for one another. And for this one, I picked two different books. I picked Royce and Gwen from the Ryaria Revelation series because they just have such a huge amount of respect for one another, although that their jobs are just like the worst jobs. Gwen is in charge of a brothel and Royce is obviously an assassin. And so they recognize how much certain aspects of each other's lives mean to them and they work to make sure that everyone can stay happy and sacrifice so much of themselves for the other person and I just thought it was amazing. I love Royce and I love Gwen together and separate. They're just amazing. 
And another couple I picked is going to be from a young adult series, and that is Cody and Nick from The Chronicles of Nick. They also have such a good amount of communication when they feel certain things they immediately tell the other person if they're having a hard time with something they don't just keep it bottled up and it doesn't create problems and they don't resent each other for anything they always make sure to work it out and i think that's really healthy really important a lot of young adult books don't do that they have these relationships just for like a lot of drama and nick and cody don't have a lot of drama they are definitely understanding and communicate really well. So that is the gentleman's book tag. I'm gonna tag a couple people. I'm gonna tag Kevin from Irish Reader. I'm gonna tag Chris from The Reading Roads. And that's it, I'm just gonna tag those two. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and, and comment down below what your favorite canon couples from your books are. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.